Welcome to this tutorial on how to set up your gradebook settings in the Oaks Grade Tool. By the end of this tutorial, you should be able to explain the difference between a points-based and a weighted gradebook. Explain the difference between the final calculated grade and the adjusted calculated grade columns in the Oaks Grades area. And explain the difference between dropping ungraded items and marking them as zero. So let's get started. From inside my Oaks class, I'm going to go to the Grades item in the upper navigation, and from that drop-down menu, I'll choose Grades. If this is your first time in the gradebook, you'll be brought to the Setup Wizard. We're just going to go through these settings, and I'll explain each one. Scroll to the bottom and choose the blue Start button on the left-hand side. Your first selection is, do you want a weighted gradebook, or a points-based gradebook, or a formula gradebook? Here's a tip. If your gradebook is so complicated that one of these first two will not work for it, then I suggest that you do not choose formula, but instead use an Excel spreadsheet or something that's more robust to keep your grades. Weighted and points-based will meet the majority of faculty's grading schemes. So let's talk about these two options for a minute. A weighted scheme is normally where everything is based on a percentage versus points-based where it is based on a total number of points. In a weighting scheme, you could have things such as all quizzes, no matter how many I deliver, will be worth 20% of their final grade. That quiz category is worth 20% whether I give them two quizzes or 20 quizzes. If that's the type of class you're running, then you'll want a weighted grading scheme. Points-based is where I'll say, I'm going to give you 10 quizzes, and each quiz is worth 20 points. So uh, total, my quizzes will be worth 200 points. If I add a new quiz, my quizzes will now be worth 220 points. In a points-based, it is just based on the number of points that you choose to have in your course. However, in a weighted, everything must be based on 100%. I'll choose points and continue. Release your final grade. This is going to ask you, are you releasing your final grade or your final adjusted grade? And everyone always asks, what's the difference between the two? The calculated final grade is kept updated by Oaks. Throughout the semester, the Oaks gradebook will automatically tally the final score for you. And if you choose to let the students see it, it'll show it to the students as well. The adjusted final grade allows you to manually modify that calculated number. Most people stay with the calculated final grade option. You can change to the adjusted final grade at any time. Again, the adjusted final grade just allows you to take whatever Oaks calculates and make a change to it. The next option is, regardless of which one I choose, do I want the students to see that calculated grade throughout the semester? And I'm going to check that to be yes. This is personal preference. Some faculty like the students to see that final calculated grade throughout the semester, whereas others prefer for the students to calculate it themselves. I'll click Continue. Now on Step 3 Grade Calculations, we have to choose between dropping ungraded items and treating ungraded items as zero. I recommend drop ungraded items. What this does is it allows the gradebook to start completely empty, and as students take tests, or receive any type of assessment at all, you'll add the grades in, or Oaks will add the grades in, and then the student's grade increases. It's more like a normal gradebook. With this method, you must remember to put a zero in if a student does not submit something. Treat ungraded items as zero, however, starts with every column having a zero in it. Therefore, the student starts with an F, and as they get assignments added into their gradebook, their grade will rise. So at any point, the student doesn't necessarily know how they're doing. But you don't have to remember to put that zero in because the zeros are added automatically. If you choose treat ungraded items as zero, I would recommend that you do not let the student see the final calculated grade. They will freak out because they'll have an F through the better part of the class. 
My recommendation is drop ungraded items and then add the zeros to students who did not submit items. Let's click continue. Step four, choose your default grade scheme. I recommend always using percentage. So we'll scroll to the bottom and hit continue. By the way, your screen will not have all of these options available. Managing view display options. This is you managing what you see within the gradebook. If you're using decimal places or you want to see how it's rounding, then choose those decimal places here. I'm going to leave it as the default and allow it to calculate to two decimal places. On step six, this is altering what the students see. We have the points grade, the grade scheme, and the grade scheme color. Now we have these because I chose a points-based gradebook. If you're a weighted gradebook user, you may also see weight listed in here. I'm going to leave them all turned on. Number of decimal places to display, I'm going to choose two. And I'm just going to leave the defaults for the rest of these. We'll hit continue. We'll be given one sort of preview of what it's going to look like and then finish at the bottom. And from here, we can go into our enter grades area. We can go into our manage grades area. And this is where we'll be working next to actually create the gradebook. Now, if you'd like to change these settings that we just did in the setup wizard at any time, you can either click setup wizard to trigger it again and walk through the process, or you can click the settings link on the right hand side and alter almost all of the same settings here. They're just broken up into different tabs. So the personal display is what you see. Org unit display is what the student sees. And your calculation options are where you can change your grading system and which grade will be released, calculated or adjusted. This is also where you can change the drop on graded items and treat ungraded items as zero. So pretty much everything that we saw in that setup wizard is also available within the settings in the upper right. Close that out. And that is how you can get through your setup wizard and get all of your basic settings done.